Now for part C, we're asked to show that e of s squared equals 9.45. Now e of s squared is related to, say, e of x squared, which you'll see also in your formula book. e of x squared is equal to the sum of x squared multiplied by the probability that x equals x. So when we're working out e of s squared, it's got to be then the sum of all the observed values s squared multiplied by the probability that s equals s. So that means that we're going to do 0, 0 squared multiplied by p plus 1 squared multiplied by 0 0.25 and so on. And again I'll just show the working here so that the examiners would hopefully know that I appreciate what we've got to do. Okay, so 4 squared times 0 0.20 plus 5 squared multiplied by 0 0.20. And if you work that out, then what you end up with is the 9.45. All right.